Hi guys, how are you today? Uh, my name is Stevie Cooper and I'm here to share with you some tips on how I am able to achieve a good broadcast mix um, with um, um, a single mixing console using the Behringer Wing. So jump in with me and let's see how we can take it up from here. Okay, let me just drop this speaking um, room ambience a lot okay. yeah this is my mic okay so today I'm going to be sharing with you some thoughts on um, how you can improve your broadcast mix as well as your FOH mix using just the Behringer wing all right and um, we have the channels here that I've labeled and I'm going to see how best we can be quick with it uh, we have the channels here that I've labeled, the, uh, from channel 1 to channel 32, uh, sorry, channel 31. And we have the kick snare, snare top, snare top, bottom. I'm using two uh, snare mics, uh, the top and the bottom, but the kick will be a single mic. And then we have a quick track, hi-hat, high, high, mid, low, tom, overhead, left and right, the bass, the montage, left and right, the nod, left and right, um, the guitar, left and right. I'm using stereo guitar. Um, stereo channel for the percussion left and right and then the trumpet and the sax then my bvgs seven bvgs and then the lead singer so i'm going to open up right. okay um and let me just start it um, i'm going to open up for a second so you can listen uh to the um the raw sound and then we'll take it up from there uh let me just bring these up a bit So we're going to have a great time. If you have a question, just drop your question in the uh, chat room and then I'll be able to respond to you accordingly. So let's play it and see. <laughs> So that, that was a praise and worship that was recorded multi, via multi-track. Um, the, the lead singer was C. Chioma. She's an excellent singer, excellent worship leader. And um, she, she has a beautiful music ministry. She has an album out there too. But this was a Sunday service in the church. And I just thought to take the multi-track sessions, the raw, um, and do a virtual sound check with you guys. So we'll start from the kick usually i start from my kick and i'll just show you one of the many ways that i m set my mix all right uh, first of all you have to get the fundamentals right every element must be gotten right which is basically do your sound check um, get your levels properly sorted make sure that your meter here does not hit red while you're sound checking keep a good enough uh, level to avoid distortions and all that and then once you got it sorted um, then you blend and bring in your effect, you know, plugins. I have a sine effect here, reverbs. Uh, on the effect channel I have here, I have the whole reverb. I have the um, TC Electronic Excellent Reverb. I have the um, Vintage Split Reverb. I have the um, Dimension Chorus. It's excellent for vocals. I have the Stereo Delay, uh, Wings Delay, and I have the Chamber I mean the ambience reverb and the chamber reverb. So for this, for the purpose of this uh, session, I'm going to use a lot of reverb and then a little bit of delay. So uh, let's jump into it and let's begin to flow. Let me increase my mic a bit so you hear more of me, uh, more from me, of me. I don't want to mind. Uh, just you can hear me, anyways. Uh, I think okay. So let's let's. I hope you can hear and uh, it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, so let's bring up our volume a little bit. Okay, cool. So that's it. So we'll proceed now and then we'll, we'll start with a kick drum and then we take it up from there. Let's go. Now, the first thing I do when I'm sound checking or mixing um, um, is, is to make sure that uh, my drum, my signal, or my source sounds great. 
Okay, so I listen out to the drums, all right? Uh, it must sound great in the mix. Um, and then what I do, it's other option for the wing. The wing is a spectacular console, all right? Here on the wings, you have, I don't know whether you can see this. Let me bring this up a bit. Okay, you, you see here for the wings, if you click on the home page, it shows you all the Dynamics processor platform you can use. All right, you have here your gate, the by default it comes with a gate, the EQ, which is a parametric EQ. Um, it's a compressor and then insert one and insert two. So every channel comes with um, a gate, compressor, EQ, insert one and insert two. And that gives you the proclivity to play around and get a lot of things done. However, you can also flip any one of them in the the order you want here if you look below there's a uh, there's a span or screw sign which is means setting you can just select it activate it and then you can you know switch to wherever you want for here for this purpose i will use the eq the gate and the compressor before my inserts all right so let's let's jump into it and see how we we come out with that okay so let's go I close it and come back to my EQ first. First thing I want to do is to get my EQ right. So I listen to the drum, make sure my level is good enough. Um, I wouldn't want the level that is clipping, all right? So I'm going to bring it down, 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 down a bit till my level is not clipping, all right? Because for me, it's important, very important. Let me just drop the signal level down a bit. Yeah, good. good so i believe you can hear that and it's you can hear the kick out okay so let's jump into it quickly so the first thing i do it's uh i'm listening to the kick it sounds okay but there are some things that need to be sorted out all right and um i need to engage my high pass first not always do you have to, do you have to start with a high pass in this case let's do something different this is where your energy, the, the energy of the kick is coming from. So uh, all here, you're not getting any bites or anything on the high frequency, no high frequency definition. It's just around here. Now for you to have your kick to sound really great in this kind of African medley or song, you need to be able to work around the frequency. But the first thing there is to be able to get out that boxiness, uh, the carton kind of sound, get the tight low ends, and let's, let's work with our low mid frequency and see yeah let's get where we are having the boxiness and deal with it first before we go to our low cut yeah so i still have this cotton like kind of sound yeah so i narrow my cue and i go to around sweep around issue all right where i have the odd sound all right there around 800 hertz and i cut it down to minus 9 db and shift it slightly towards yeah 802 there about good that's what i'm looking for because i don't want my mid frequency area to bring out that boxiness in my kick i need a kick that um, has definition so the next thing i'll do i'll just select my low frequency come down to 38 hertz and then do a low cut now for the wing you can you either select here you know your filter low cut high cut tilt or tilt or you come here to the home and then just at the channel input point you just select the low cut but the difference between this low cut and that low cut is that with this low cut it's just going to cut up to a certain frequency if you want to play around with the frequency then you just um, you have to then move towards the um, channel filter on the eq and then select the low cut and then sweep to where you want now i'm going to cut up to 40 hertz good uh, yeah 40 hertz good that's what i need now my high cut, I'm going to do cut also on the kick uh, down to 8K, all right? 
because I just need the fundamentals of the kick. All right. So well, the next thing I do is I want to get out every boominess. Yeah. Good. Good. That sounds good. After that, I can set my gate. The ratio for this gate is uh, 1.3, but I'm going to go with hard gate um, and then take it off from there. So hard gate, attack on the kick drum, it's always good to leave the attack very fast on your gate so you don't lose that on your transient. So good. So let's go a hold of 50 and then a release of about 300. Good. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Yeah, you can hear the kick drum. Let's bring our volume up a bit for our kick. Yeah considerable volume I think is good enough all right let's bring it up a bit yeah so having done our gate to eliminate other spills um, I left it I, I engaged the range sometime to just let a little bit of low in energy information pass through the gate all right yeah, I don't just close it totally you know I still want to maintain some naturality uh, and then after that, come to my compressor. For this purpose, I could use the, fun, the, the basic compressor, and I just go on hard knee 4.1 rate on my radio ratio, and have like 3.4 dB gain reduction. All right, or 4.5 dB gain reduction. Now the level of gain reduction must be compensated by your makeup gain. All right, because you're losing out gain. So let's start with. 2.3 dB gain reduction. I just need 2 to 3 dB gain reduction, all right, to just give me that pump, all right, and then slow attack up to 60. My hold is uh, 41, all right, 41, and then release is about 50. Yeah, so I, I engage my makeup gain. By the same 3 dB of so makeup gain. Good. Our kick sounds great. So you can hear the kick. So let's move it forward a bit. I'm engaging the high pass because I need some, I need a little more low going through, all right? Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, okay, so after hearing that, I'll just drop in a graphic EQ, all right, to give some, what I call replenishment, some bit of uh, umps now. And four, let's leave it at four, four dB on our 63 hertz, and then cut our 125 hertz a bit and then our 250 hertz our 500 hertz our 1k and then our 16 kilohertz and boost up 2 to 4k so let's bring back our 125 hertz up a little bit just a little bit below the unit to gain line. And then come back to our EQ here. And let's make use of this frequency Yeah, and boost up 50 hertz. By 2 dB, yeah. And bring our 1K to us so that we have that beta sound. 
I'm hearing this, you know, somewhere around uh, 100 hertz. Yeah, that's it. Let's relax our gait a bit. Good. I think that's good for our kick. So let's bring out our snare. Okay, this snare sounds nice. This snare top sounds nice. But just do a little bit of tweaking on it. All right. And just set a gait on it to make it. But I'm going to use a different form of gait, source extraction. All right. Just have a mild kind of gait, yeah. Yeah, that's all. To get out this fundamental. Now, if you look on the spectrum, you see where the gate is. So let's work around that and deal with that on our EQ. Now. So I did a dip around my 3K, around 2K rather, 2, 3K. Because the shimmer sound, I didn't need it that much. And then I'm going to do a low cut uh, to 130 or 150. Well, let's leave it at 130, all right? And then a high cut at uh, 8K again. Yeah. And then let's deal with, yeah, that's a shimmer sound narrow it and that's around 3k yeah 3k yeah that's what i want good good this sounds nice and then i come around my mid frequency area of five six hundred hertz i'm just going to sweep uh, let's come down to 400 and see So let's boost our 200 hertz and see. Yeah, cool. This snare bottom. So what we're going to do with the snare bottom is simple, just high shelf and then do a cut around the 64K. Just a bit normal low cut. And then because you have two snare drums, I'm going to just engage the um, invert, more or less like a pulsar, polarity switch. Drop the volume for the snare bottom a bit. Let's engage our gate on this. And slow attack to make it smoothing out the transient from this snare bottom. And we're running at uh, attack at 70 milliseconds. Hold at 70, 80 milliseconds. And then release at 500. Okay, let's see. Okay, good. So 
let's now deal with our snare top and add a compressor on it. And I'm going to add the LA leveler. Great. And then I'm going to do a lot of peak reduction up to 60, 70 uh, dB. And then boot up till I get the snap. Yeah. And then come to this compressor, do another um, a compression on this. I'm using the Soul compressor. So that's it. So let's add our loop. I'm not going to do anything on the loop. Probably just pan out my loop. All right. Just widen it and, and pan it to the left. Sorry, I have to do it. Yeah. Just pan the loop to the left a bit. Just a little bit to the left and widen it. I choose to narrow the loop so that it doesn't spread everywhere, but. Sometimes you want the other side to hear the loop, so I'm leaving it wide my weight. So from there we'll go to our hi-hats. Sorry. Uh. Now for the hi-hats, uh, I, I just keep it simple. I do a lot of cuts on it, just a cut, you know, up to about um, 2K, and then still do additional cut about 4K. Um, four or five K there. Narrow it and then do a cut. All right. Yeah, and then do some compression on it. Quite a bit of a compression. About 5.1. And relatively not hard me, but not too hard me. And my attack is fast attack. You know, slow release. Hold is about um, 62 milliseconds and then I'll use peak so the compressor is really squashing out the harshness in the hi-hats and then just make up a 2, two, two db 2 db gain with makeup gain all right so let's hear it okay and then what I'll do is just pan it out narrow the panning narrow because you know I'm having overhead yeah, just narrow it out. Bring down the gain on that channel. Yeah. here so I'm going to do a bit more strong compression on it and leave it at 4.4.1 all right leave the knee as it is slow knee and then my attack will be 60 but release will be about 400 all right and the hold is about 70 let's try peak yes yeah, lovely lovely brought down the threshold a bit there I have a little bit of um, 
3, 4 dB gain reduction and then just add about 1 dB makeup gain and then come to my EQ alright so I'm hearing this um, this odd NASA like feel on my bass around 1k and then do a high cut up to 5k beautiful now it sounds smooth out okay so what i'll do next 300 hertz Let's leave it 100 hertz and see. And on the bass, I just increase the bass gain, reduce the intensity a bit. All right. So let's. around 72 70 hertz yeah Tom, quickly get our tongue sorted. So I'm going to pick a point where you know the tongue comes in.
fundamental. Okay, now that I have it, let's see what we can do now. I'm going to create an annoying kind of effect and then sweep, yeah, and get out those annoying frequency. Come around 250 hertz, 300 hertz, yeah. where we can get our mid-tone. Is that okay? So I think I've seen a spot. Okay. So, so the first thing I'll do in this case is make sure my level is okay, then get my gate up. I just need to get that fundamental. So we have a little bit of energy around the 200 to 400 hertz area. And we are going to knock off that, that you know, yeah. 
find our fundamental note, which is around 130. And then do another low cut. Okay. Low cut of up to 84, 80 hertz. And then work around the frequency area again in the mid. Then bring this down. Let's move it backwards a bit, just about 100 hertz. Nah, nah, nah. Let's deal with 250 hertz. And let's move it closer. Find our one key down to 900 head again and move this. Yeah. Okay, that's cool for me. And then I'm going to use the same. But this time my compression is about 3.1. Sounds better. So I did a cut around two, three hundred hertz, two fifty, three hundred hertz, and then did a boost slightly about one hundred and ten hertz, um, and then the low cut of up to. Let me just relax my low cut up to sixty hertz, so that low end definition, yeah. Good. Flow tom first I'll deal with the fundamentals. Alright. Okay. Sweep to around 70 head. Good. And then come down slightly under 200 head. Yeah. 157, 170, 170. Good. And then the mid frequency area, yeah, between six, one, two, seven hundred hertz reduction, yeah. Now I could choose to leave the low cut, but I'll just do it and then bring it down to maybe in a nine hertz, yeah, so that those low end information can go away. So let let's pan it out. Let's pan our mid. Okay. So let's deal with our low end, the gate. have a range and a release, slow release fast attack of two milliseconds yeah cool that's cool and then mr compressor so we have our compression threshold down a bit 0.1 and then very loud uh, makeup game good Let's come back to our release, release it a bit, open our hold. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Let's move our a bit downward. Okay, cool. So let's listen out to it now and see what it does.
Let's listen. Let me start from the beginning. Wow, that sounds nice. So that sounds nice. Let's get to our routing. We're going, there are some pages, that, I mean, channels that didn't route. So I'm going to put the, um, the um, overheads linked, the overheads, and um, I'm going to link the keyboard. Um, no, um, nine, nine, ten, okay, overheads. Um, What's happening here? I think I had overheads, yeah. Nine and ten. Um, and then eleven base, yeah. And then uh, yep, keyboards, and then mid side. Cool. And then guitar mid side as well. So let's come to the keyboard first and see the overhead rather sorry so let's run our overheads and see how it sounds Is free. Okay, cool. So let's run it. Again. So let's let's just pan it out. And let's pan this out. Invert. So what I'll do for this is just to do a cut, okay, yeah, and where my energy is, okay, and around my 3K very deep, and then do another cut here, but this time slightly below the first one, and then the high cut. And then, yeah, bring up my 5k, drop by 2k, and drop around 400. Yeah, lovely. Mm. Let's set our gate for our. started again from the beginning. Let's widen our base. Okay, 
Okay, so let's start it one more time. All right, so I think we got it all good. We got it all good, so let's try our keyboard. I'm just going to do a, I'm just going to do a high cut on the kick. I mean, a low pass, a low cut high pass filter. Come to the second keyboard. All right, I'm going to do a bit of shell, low shell. All right, and then boost around my 05k by just to maybe or thereabout and widen it. Just to maybe then bring down around 400 hertz. A little bit, just my. sides what I'm going to do is I'll just do a little bit of compression on each of them uh, just mild compressor let me look for something just something simple uh, leveler yeah and do the same but make a slight adjustment here on the right channel this is what I'll do I will set a little delay all right by uh, milliseconds and good 18 milliseconds good so let it run again good. now you see it's Let's try this, but this time around, I'm just doing a wide spread, just manual spread here, and I'll leave this, okay, low pass filter, and then do low shelf, come to the next channel, and I'll boost around 1K on this. on my 
got the keyboard sounding great. Ooh. So let's drop our volume a bit, both sides. And then our guitar is mid side. set the compressor again the EQ for my guitar I'm going to do cuts 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 high cut low cut and just clean up around my 400 Hertz area for the guitar knock up around 5k for the left channel for the right channel I'm going to boost around 2k all right and do a low cut filter and then a high pass filter of about 70 for this left channel all right and boost up between 1 and 2k knock off around 6 500 hertz all right and do a high shelf and come to the right channel another low cut 125 hertz leave the top open and then Boost down my 300 hertz and boost up 200 hertz. And then just do a pan.
said I'll compress up for our snare. I mean our percussion distress up. One more thing before we round up, uh, we have our trumpet. Um, let's mute every other thing and leave only our trumpets. Okay, so let's play. Now for our trumpets, uh, it's the same old story. Cut. Trumpets is not always on the high side. You need to get the elements of those. Um, those um, fundamentals coming up. So let's go back a bit. Yeah, 200 boost. And then cut around 1.9 kilohertz. Leave our other frequencies flat. And then let's set a good compression on it. Yeah, we're setting the early level up. And do a lot of kick reduction. Good. And set the gate on it. And let's get back and see again how it's going. So, 90 millisecond hold. 199 milliseconds release and uh, a bit of a range. Yeah, good, good. I like what the gate is doing, close naturally. So I'm going to cov copy the gate um, to the next channel, all right, and just, which is a sax, although um, they don't play the same thing. So for the Trumpet, let's see how it sits again. Cool, so let's look for a saxophone, which is 22. Now, if you listen, you can see the low end energy is too much on the sax line. That's why high and low pass filter is important because it helps you clean up that rumble. So I'm going to cut it up. Yeah, now you see. And I'm going to stop at 150. No, too much. Let's leave it at 120. So let's knock off around 1K and boost up our 2K. 
okay. But do a bit of a cut, low cut on the uh, yeah, 8K. Let's see around here. Let's mild cut around 400, 300 and 400 Hz. So let's, let's do our... Our range is too high, so let's bring it down. And then set the compressor. So now let's try something creative now. With our reverb. see from here how everything fits in the mix all right we are almost there <laughs> That sounds really good. So now what we're going to do is to do a subgroup um, on our bus. Come to bus 12, uh, select a subgroup here, sorry. Come to this place and change it to subgroup. Now what that does is make our channel uh, really, really tight. So I'm going to put the kick and the snare on that subgroup and then let it have some presence as well. So let's try it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I added it on the effect channel and sorry for that. Bus 12, that's not meant for that. So let's try bus 9 and subgroup. Okay, and this. Keep it here, bus 12, yep. So bus nine, subgroup, and let's see how it is. Okay. Now what I did on this bus, the subgroup for the kick and snare is I just did a low cut, all right, and left the rest. Now I'm going to do another uh, subgroup and see with um, um, and see eight and see how it will come out and do a lot of compression on it now. We're going to do the stress up. We're going to do 5.1, 6.1 uh, inputs, attack, release, 
you understand, and see how that comes out. You know, white. So let's listen to our kick. <laughs> something good so let's let's add a bit of to our toms uh, what reverb do we go with we'll go with um, ambience reverb we'll go with ambience reverb We'll go with ambience reverb and see how it comes out on our mix. All right, we're putting our toms on the ambience reverb. Little bit on our hi hats, little bit on our top snare, uh, nothing, on, and then a little bit, just a little bit on our overhead. Okay, so let's let's try it out and see. Let's Theta. Let's theta. So let's try it out and see how it comes out.
guys, that's just it on how to mix a simple mix. We've not grouped the toms yet, but just something simple for you to work with. Hope you learn a lot. I'll just play around with it again. While the next time we come, we'll face the vocals. Is that okay? Thank you, guys. Have a lovely time. Enjoy.